Meta leaks insane news about their new product. As we all know, MetaLite is on the horizon, and it promises to reshape the way we experience virtual reality. The MetaQuest 3 Lite is just about everything we had hoped for, but maybe with a few exceptions. Quest 3 Lite is taking us to the next level with the new Depth API feature. Depth API in Quest 3 enhances your mixed reality experiences by enabling virtual objects to correctly connect with real-world objects, making the overall experience more immersive and realistic. This is a huge change from what we have now, and here's why. Currently, when you're using Quest 3 and playing around with virtual stuff, they can pass through real furniture like they're invisible. But one thing that comes to mind is that they don't pay attention to your moving hands. With the Depth API, it's using real-time camera data to make virtual objects respect real-world stuff. So if you place a virtual cup on a table and wave your hand in front of it, your hand will actually hide the cup. It's like seeing things through not-so-clear glasses, and it works best within a few meters. The pictures of the MetaQuest Lite created by XR Carlos on X show that it resembles the MetaQuest Pro because of its hard plastic head strap. These pictures are from 2021, and there's no proof that the design has been altered since then. If it stays this way, it's probable that the Quest Lite's head strap cannot be removed, like the head straps on Quest 2 and Quest 3. These pictures are based on a leaked mock-up that doesn't even allow for adjusting the head size. The cameras on the MetaQuest Lite look like small holes in the headset, unlike the larger and higher quality cameras on the Quest 3. This model uses black and white cameras, similar to the Quest 2, but Meta has swapped these small cameras for a color pass-through experience, more like the Quest 3. The MetaQuest Lite uses the same kind of lenses as the MetaQuest 2, called Fresnel lenses. These lenses make the headset a bit bulkier than the Quest 3. The Fresnel lenses have only a small area where the image looks best, so users will need to position the headset just right on their head, similar to the Quest 2. But actually, this doesn't necessarily mean bad news, because this design lets Meta claim that the Quest Lite will be 40% lighter than the MetaQuest 3, which is a big improvement. And if you ask me, I think it is a worthy trade-off. However, we don't yet know how Meta plans to let users adjust the lens spacing or if they can change the face pads. But one thing to notice is that Meta is going to sell the MetaQuest Lite without any controllers, similar to how Apple controls mixed reality content using hand gestures. While Meta's hand tracking is quite good, it's not as easy to use as Apple's unique approach. It's a bit unexpected for Meta to emphasize hand tracking as the primary way to control the device because there aren't many great hand tracking games available for the Quest yet. Also, the Quest Lite probably lacks features like eye tracking and other helpful technologies found in the Apple Vision Pro, which could make relying solely on hand gestures a bit frustrating. The MetaQuest Lite will have the same Snapdragon XR 2 Gen 2 chip as the MetaQuest 3, but with some changes. It's going to use chipsets that didn't meet performance standards during manufacturing, which is a way for Meta and Qualcomm to use these failed chips and still provide users with better performance compared to the XR 2 Gen 1 in the Quest 2. Now in terms of pricing and release date, the Quest Lite is scheduled to come out in 2024 and be priced at either $199 or $299. The $199 price would make it the cheapest MetaQuest headset ever, even lower than the Quest 2's $299 launch price. But don't get your hopes up because it might be launching at $299 to maintain good hardware quality. It's possible that Meta could name it either the MetaQuest Lite or even MetaQuest 3, since it has the same chip as the Quest 3. But if you're one of a higher end line of products, you should definitely consider the MetaQuest 3 as well, as it offers even more features. Watch this video where we will be reviewing the MetaQuest 3 and discussing about the pros and cons.